Yo what's up guys welcome back to the best after effects tutorial channel on YouTube today we will learn how to make these amazing looking outline or underline animations which are often used by pro editors to just highlight any irrelevant information or anything that has to stick out and of course this increases watch time it just draws attention to the white details so you have to learn it and I'll show you how to do it in just a few minutes. So I'll go into this composition where I just prepared this one, just super basic, it's not even really good looking, but we will now learn the way how to highlight these 30 day text thing. And yeah, the only thing that we need is a shape layer. For this, we can just select this pen tool and just draw the shape that we want. So in that case, we want it to be like that, just going around this thing. Don't uh, yeah, hang on the details too much, you can always change it later with these things here. So yeah, of course this doesn't look good, so let's open this shape up and first of all delete the fill. So we basically just have the stroke and this one we can actually make a bit thicker. Now, yeah, I think this doesn't really look good, so let's adjust it a bit, so it just fits for this purpose. No, we don't want that. Uh, yeah, just play around with it a bit. But as I said, also don't uh, waste too much time on this. And maybe just adjust a bit so it fits. Increase the scale if you want, but yeah, that's just the first part. Now that we have this shape, it's not animated at all, it doesn't move, it looks uh, kind of stupid. Oh, for this I have to make it 3D as well, so it moves with the composition. But yeah, we want to animate this basically. To do this, we can just yeah go to this shape layer and um, open up the, no, ah, why does it not open up? And open up the contents. And first of all, we have to add trim paths to just animate this. We can open these up, go to the beginning of the animation and bring the end down to zero, put in a keyframe here, and then just go forward like two and a half seconds or two seconds, whatever you like, and bring this to the end. So bring the end up to 100%. And as you can see, this will now be animated. I think this animation is a bit slow and not smooth, so we can open up the graph editor by pressing this button, selecting the end animation and just click the easy ease button here and now it should be a little bit smoother. Also I think this is too slow so we can bring the second keyframe more to the front. And now we have this nice outline thing. Actually I don't like the shape, let's change it a bit. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that should work. It's okay. But yeah, that's the animation basically. We can also change the path uh, color, of course, the stroke color to red, like the example to be consistent here. And what I also like to do is change the taper a bit. So maybe we want the, the um, start here to be a bit thinner. So we can increase the, the start length just a little bit. And we can also make it more smooth here so it's not that yeah not that pointy and now we have this super cool outline animation we can also um, change the line cap type to round so these are round here now it looks just super smooth and now one of the most important things that i always like to do is to yeah, make this animated yeah paint style thing so you see it's not super clean the edges it's a bit more rough and that's exactly and yeah that's exactly the um, effect that we are looking for. It's named uh, rough and edges. You can just look for it and apply it on the shape layer, and we can see it's a bit more roughened up. And to animate this, we can also animate the evolution. So put in a keyframe in here. Go to maybe the end of the composition if the shape should stay the whole time, and just increase the evolution. And this just looks super cool. Of course, you can always play with these settings. You can increase this one to make it more strong. But I recommend to just keep this border. Or you can also play with the scale, make it more detailed or whatever. And yeah, that's it basically. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time hopefully.